Well, thank you for attending. So, Cisco Metal, as I mentioned, is the uh, latest incarnation of a Cisco group of companies focused on base metals and specifically zinc. Flagship project, uh, both in Canada, uh, focused on two historic world-class mining camps, Bathurst on the East Coast, and the Pine Point project in the Northwest Territories. Pine Point is our uh, flagship project, acquired a year ago, uh, and through diligent work, uh, compilation of a large database, we were able to define in the last year 38 million tons at 6.6% zinc equivalent, essentially lead and zinc equivalent to 3.9 billion tons of zinc and 1.6 billion tons of lead in the ground. Bathurst Camp is less advanced. Uh, also, the resource definition of a smaller deposit at this stage, Kianicon, indicated resource of 1.96 million tons of 9% zinc equivalent, and inferred resource of 3.85 million tons of 7.96. The Bathurst camp has always been in mostly uh, underground mining operations. Uh, Kianicon and what we're developing at Bathurst it would presumably be for an underground. But it's important to point out that Pine Point is uh, all uh, pit constrained near surface uh, mineralization. We're bullish on zinc, as I mentioned a minute ago. Zinc price versus refined zinc metal inventory from 2004. We see right now that inventories are extremely low. Prices are robust, uh, very relatively stable, actually, between 150 and 120 zinc. I spent most of my career in 30, 40 cent zinc per pound environment. So for me, anything above a dollar is a fantastic uh, zinc price. And we believe that that is here to stay. So we'll focus on Point Point, located in the territories just north of the Alberta border. A large camp, it was uh, in production for 20 years, shut down in 1988, run by Cominco, produced uh, approximately 64 million tons of 10% open pit mineralization. So essentially a string of open pits uh, strung over better part of uh, 30 kilometers, but the camp, the whole camp itself, the whole mineralized system is exceptionally large, stretches over a 60 kilometer uh, strike length. So we control 100% of the camp, and uh, following uh, digitization and compilation, again, at this point, we're at 38 million tons of uh, better than 6% lead zinc with significant exploration upside. The advantage of being in this camp, and given the fact that it's a uh, previous producer, infrastructure is in place, both rail and road access to the nearby town of uh, Hay River, which is uh, <clears throat> 60 kilometers away from the camp itself, but road access to the camp. Hydroelectric power, the old substation, is available. And uh, Hay River has direct road and rail access to Edmonton. Exceptional high-grade concentrate. Historically, this is what uh, Cominco produced for a better part of 20 years. And again, district scale exploration upside, which we will focus on in 2019. On the point of premium concentrates, uh, it's very important to know that Pint Point historically produced a very high quality concentrate here, comparing it to Red Dog, Montaisa, MacArthur River, and Antamina. On the uh, left hand side, uh, these are major elements silica, iron lead and copper contaminants, and on the right-hand side, minor elements, manganese, mercury, cadmium, arsenic. Both cases, point point, as you can see on the bar chart, very, very low in deleterious elements. And this kind of concentrate is very rare and would no doubt command a premium demand from smelters uh, globally. Historically, Cominco produced better than 90% uh, recovery, uh, and again, because of lack of deleterious elements, exceptionally high zinc concentrate of 50 to 60%. So we would not expect any smelter penalties from producing such a concentrate. Going back to infrastructure, you see uh, our property position uh, in yellow with west zone, central zone, north zone, east middle zone. 
which is really the main camp and the extreme northeast extremity, the uh, N204 zone. And uh, to the west is Hay River, again, with road and rail access uh, to the south. So well located with power and ready access. So that is our flagship project. This year, with additional ground acquisition and further drilling, we're confident we'll be able to build up our resource, both the indicated and inferred category, to 50, more or less 50 million tons of 6% lead zinc. That is our objective for the end 2019, after which uh, we'll be in a position to produce a PEA in H1 2020. So those are the two milestones that you can expect to see uh, in the coming uh, eight months. Bathurst mining camp on the East Coast. Again, we have controlling position in this historic camp. Bathurst, uh, especially number 12, world-class deposit that produced over 137 million tons of 12% uh, lead zinc. And number six, 12 million tons at 7%. Uh, that was a small open pit deposit. The key thing about Bathurst, uh, we'll blow up next slide, what you see in the circle is that all the, most of the known deposits were located along this red line, it forms a U-shaped uh, body and trend on this property, which we now control 100%. That is called the Bathurst Horizon. It was the volcanic horizon that held the bulk mineralization. We were able to acquire all the claims finalizing this year. We now control 70% of this horizon. And I would say about 60% uh, of this uh, has never been explored. So that's an exceptional opportunity from an exploration point of view to develop more resources in what used to be a world-class camp. Right now we're focused at uh, the north and end of the U-shaped trend, Key Anacon deposit. We were able to define uh, thus far approximately 5 million tons of mineralization, grading about uh, 10 to 12 percent uh, lead zinc. And we expect uh, to carry on with further drilling this year to expand that resource. So on both fronts, we expect significant resource increase in our book in the next uh, coming year. The key at Pine Point Camp will be to apply new technology in terms of defining new targets, including airborne gravity gradiometry. This is technology that simply did not exist in the times of Kaminko. Furthermore, with the compilation that we did, we now have a 3D geological model that, convert, uh, that uh, contains the entirety of uh, the camp, the geology of the camp, allowing us to define structural trends and define uh, further targets. Uh, at Kianicon, it's a simply a question of expanding outside the known resource to define the outer extents uh, of the deposit, which is uh, pretty much open in all directions. So the key milestones, again, is resource expansion with the ultimate uh, objective of producing a PEA at Point Point in uh, 2020. In 2020, more resource expansion at uh, Bathurst. So uh, once again, this is an exceptional, in the zinc space, we believe as Cisco Metals is uniquely positioned with significant growing resources, uh, especially for our open pit shallow mineralization. There's nothing like it uh, on the market right now in the junior development space. If you are at all bullish on zinc as we are, the Cisco Metals is an excellent way of getting zinc exposure with uh, significant, uh, significant leverage uh, to the zinc uh, price. Thank you very much.